Hi, it's Sean. I'm back with another uh, video tip. Uh, today we're going to talk about what I think is one of the most important rules when it comes to shooting video. And that is, is that uh, less is better than more. Right now I'm sitting uh, by the window again. I've just got the exterior light coming in and because I don't have a cameraman, I'm here by myself. I've just got the camera riding on auto iris because there's clouds rolling in front of the sun and stuff like that. One thing to be careful of about uh, auto iris, by the way, just throw this in here is uh, if you're shooting like a podium shot or something where someone's flipping pieces of paper, you can get a rude awakening from your auto iris as it tries to help you out. Uh, so for instance, if someone holds up like a piece of paper, your iris instantly drops because it sees this and is trying to correct the exposure for that. And what can happen, and I've seen this happen in podium shots and things, and every shot can be affected badly by an auto iris, but sometimes even a guy just flipping you know, a piece of paper as he's doing a talk and the camera picks that up and you get this up and down going of the iris and it can look kind of uh, cheap and amateur. Uh, best not to use auto iris unless you absolutely have to, such as now when I've got clouds rolling by and I don't want to overexpose the thing when the sun comes out. Um, if you have to leave a camera by itself with no cameraman, auto iris uh, will help you out. Otherwise, not really worth it in my opinion. Uh, the most important rule, less is better than more. I took a shot, a couple of shots um, a few minutes ago, one where I overexposed the shot and one where I underexposed the shot. And I've got to tell you right now, when it comes to video, overexposure, you're dead. Underexposure, you can save it. Uh, quick story, if you, uh, one time we uh, were on a shoot, uh, one camera had to get left by itself and I think somebody turned on an ND filter or something, anyway the shot turned out to be uh, very badly underexposed on this person that was talking. I thought we were in real trouble to be honest and then an editor took it, he put it through um, Final Cut and then he took it into color and he fixed it up and when it was all said and done nobody said a word, they thought it looked fine. Uh, to my eye I knew it wasn't but I had been there and I had seen uh, what it was supposed to look like but after the editor was done with it it looked okay. I'll tell you right now, if it had been overexposed we would have been finished, we would have been done. Uh, so the most important rule, if you want to get something out of your video, is to err on the side of underexposure if you're going to make any mistake at all. If you're going to make a mistake, make the mistake on the side of underexposure. So here's the shot of me overexposed. And here it is now where I've tried to fix it up a little bit. And there's nothing I can do to really make this shot better. All right. Now here it is underexposed. And as you can see here, you can fix it up enough that it's passable. It may not be perfect. It's never as good as if you had done it right when you were on the shoot. But at least you can fix it and save it so that it, it is at least passable. Uh, the same thing goes for audio, by the way. I've uh, been looking through the forums. I always look through the forums and stuff to see what people are talking about. And one of the most common questions is uh, people asking, I've, I've got too much, I've, I peaked out on my mic, or they'll say like I overmodulated, and all I hear is like the crunching sound, I can't really hear the words, how can I save it? You can't, you're dead. That's all there is to it. If you overmodulate a microphone, if you crank open that channel and record the audio and it's all crunchy and peaked out, you're done. There is nothing you can do about it. You will have to reshoot, and if it was a live shoot where uh, someone was saying something important and you were getting paid to tape it, uh, you're fired. That's bottom line. There's no way to save it. So with audio and video, always err on the side of less because if you record the audio a little too low, you can always bump that up. You may have to take out some of the air conditioning hiss in the background that comes with it or something, but the point is you'll be able to hear the person. You'll be able to save it. Same thing goes for video. You can always bump it up a little bit, a little bit make it passable. If you overexpose, you're finished. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.